my name is Jonas Morkar. I'm the current head coach of the Accra Panthers. So I got involved with rugby league at the age of 17 back in uh, high school. This was the St. Joseph School and back in Lebanon. We had two graduate alumni who were very well experienced rugby players who came back uh, to the school to educate like a new generation of players. And I was part of I was part of them, the first generation of uh, rugby league players back in St. Joseph. Uh, I was always a very uh, driven, aggressive person. I already had uh, been doing Muay Thai before that for several years. So I thought it would be a natural fit just to, I like the sport as well, and I just went into it. <laughs> uh, wow, what a journey. Um, well, to start from the beginning, well, going back to school, I played for the St. Joseph team, the Saints. I played for them for two years, then graduated, went on to university uh, on, a, on a rugby scholarship, no less. So I continued playing for the Lebanese American University, and I played for them rugby for roughly four years. Yes, and during the time I was in university, I started playing rugby league with uh, a team called the Immortals team. And I've also represented Lebanon in a uh, international match against Italy back in 2016. I, I hope I'm getting the date right, back in 2016. Well, uh, as for the challenges, I'll, well, I'll speak from a personal standpoint. Uh, the challenges I faced in uh, rugby league were mainly um, just personal challenges that I had to go through in order to grow as a person. So, uh, mainly challenges learning and uh, growing you know so as for the sport itself uh, the main challenge was just trying to get rugby league more known to people there are plenty of people around me who were close friends and uh, also people who I, I looked up to who didn't know what the sport was you know they, they didn't know what to make of it they don't understand it some people were even afraid to uh, participate in it because they thought it was maybe too, uh, maybe too violent or too, uh, too aggressive. So, which could be further from the truth? Uh, rugby, uh, rugby league in uh, particular, is a very well disciplined and organized sport, much more than uh, what you would find in most sports today, including most sports. <laughs> Any iconic rugby league moments? Well, uh, apart from the amazing career I've had with uh, both at school, university, and playing for the national team, I'd say the national team takes the cake on the, on that one because um, during the final moments of the game, uh, after a very flawed game, we only put one try against the Italian team. Uh, they were a very formidable and tough team. So we had one try up and it was the last minute i'd say of the game last minute they did the hail mary broke through the line running to put a try i was currently uh, subbed in for our, uh, our starting fullback so i was subbing in i was playing fullback at the time and uh, i did what any fullback would do run back and try to tackle and stop the of the game it was the last tackle so as i was running full speed i would i managed to stop him as he was tripping up tackle him and end the game basically saving a, a try scorer so it was it was one of the best moments of my life uh, to be honest you know a uh, very proud moment playing for the lebanese team and winning the game I pray it happens with my own country, with uh, Ghana, and I get to represent them in that way as well. Well, the rugby scene here in Ga Ghana and Africa in general is that it's still a very much a sport in its infancy. So it's still growing and it's still moving forward. Uh, it needs a lot of support, both from experienced players and from uh, new coming players mainly to spread the word out to say to explain what rugby league is and what it has to offer to the community to individuals who play and to the people who work within the organization 
So I pray that it grows to be the sport that we all know it can be a very well developed professional and uh, recognizable sport that can be found anywhere. So in Africa, it's still in its infancy and I, and I hope it grows more than that. Uh, as for the any current and future or potential stakeholders, my word to use this, rugby league is a sport that teaches discipline, teaches commitment, teaches teamwork, trust, and accountability. We are as fast as our slowest person, we are as strong as our weakest person, and we are as connected as our weakest link. So I urge anyone who wants to support this sport should place their full support because it's something that teaches you values that you can use both in and out of the sport. It's a, it's a demanding sport that places a very beneficial physical uh, endurance, strength, it has it all. So that's what I uh, urge every stakeholder to, to keep in mind. It has good values, strong people, strong men and women who participate and I would like to urge you to grow the sport as much as you can. And God bless you all and thank you for your time. So I would like to give a shout out to all my teammates, to all my coaches and mentors. I know they kill me if I didn't say anything so <laughs> I'll give a huge shout out to all my teammates at the Saints, uh, my old teammates at St. Joseph my uh, mentors, my coaches, Robin, Naif, Ray, Munir, all my teammates, everyone, big shout out. I'll say this in Arabic. Inshallah, you will be able to get out of it. And God will be with you. And we will be with I pray that you grow the sport in Lebanon even further. And I pray that we push the sport forward both here and in the MENA region and God bless you all and take care of yourselves.